I forgot I muted myself earlier. Hi guys. Um, okay, there you, go. you didn't miss anything that I've said besides the fact that I'm a chicken eater. Um, and that the last episode we did some cool stuff, but next episode, which is this one, we got a fine line. I don't know where this bitch is at though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, maybe I should look back at what they said. I cannot do that in this game. Yes, I can. This is a really great stream. Oh, there we go. This does not show me shit. <gasps> actually, let me see what the trouble man is up to, man. Because that was actually kind of depressing to see. Even as I sit here, time is tr ticking away. I wonder what he's feeling right now. How much time he got that man is sick, sick, sick. I bet he hates me. Oh, oh if only I could blow up and scatter into a million pieces. Maybe you ought to think of more peaceful images. Carilly me. I can't do shit still. Flap. Y'all should be flapping. All right, well, I guess we don't have to be here. Um, uh, let me go back to the office then. Appreciate your following, P Quill. <laughs> and Jay earlier who followed, I, I said thank you to, to, to you as well, but you didn't hear me. <laughs> now the episode is going to start weird. How am I going to do that on the, on the second channel? Oh, well, I figured out when I get there. You know, black people, I just wanted to crawl into a hole. And just maybe, this is the entrance to my true destiny. Go ahead. Here, I'll even push the close button for you. Doesn't look like I need to come back here for a while. Oh my gosh, and what, bruh? Um, not the kitchen. Maybe downstairs? I don't hear anything. I guess nobody's here. The darkness and quiet are relaxing, but here's no sense of Oh my god. But you know what? I'm, I'm glad that I fuck, <laughs> fucked up the audio, because I have to skip the majority of this beginning anyway. Let me just go back in the kitchen. Maybe this is something. Uh, actually, something's in there. Because he said in there that she wasn't here yet, so she's supposed to be here at some point. Right? Um, that was not chicken. That was a bunch of baked goods. I don't see any customers who dream of chicken tonight. You're singing. Um, I can't think of a song to sing. Can't do nothing here then. This game the coolest, I'm not gonna lie. It's really cool. It's a cool premise. Basically, I'm dead, and I gotta figure out why the fuck I died before the day is over. Um, in order to do that, I gotta start possessing shit. And, um, I mean, yeah. But the one person that's connected to why I died, um, she keeps fucking dying herself. So I had to keep going back in time and possessing different items to save her life, to not fucking die all the time. This line doesn't seem to be working. It's gonna go there right now. Okay. Look at the park. Oh my god, dude. I hope I explained that well. The entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The sad voice of a young man drifts over me to. What? I thought he was naked. I have to use the restroom. But if I leave my post, I just know I'll miss something. Come to think of it, that annoying leaflet guy disappeared and I used the restroom earlier. When I used the restroom. Darn it, it's almost time. Which will show up first? My mark or the end of my ability to hold out? 
Why don't you just pee off the roof? Ain't nobody under there. Explain it well enough for me to add it to my wish list. Let's go. All right, well, I guess I can't go over here. How annoying. Um, maybe the office. Oh, Nick, I was already here. I thought this was a different office. Damn it. This was the one I was thinking about. Ah, these two dickheads. So, how are their preparations coming along? Um, I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah. Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I, I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Trust me, I didn't, so I'm glad you said that. Two more hours, and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right, bitch ass nigga. Ah, security. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule tomorrow. Yes, the pri oh, yeah, I was never gonna remember that shit because that was like a month ago. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number, number is D99. Alrighty then, how do I get to these cells? Better try to get some information here first. My eyes are red? Are you smoking? Uh, examine. The screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small. And you can see right into them and from the outside. As well as the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where these little rooms are. Let me fly away right quick. Hey, Bailey. Emergency switch, goblet. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection, prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. But there's C74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? <laughs> Fuck. You don't know about the Metro po Police Department siege case? Metro who, what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege at a place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And? Golly, that officer arched. All right, the guy looked confused though about it for, thought about it for a while and said, bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Curry and rice, that's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. There's a gnat on my screen. Ooh, I thought it too. The chat boy. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. What? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. S Are you dead ass? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? And then they went out of a way to give him the food and, and they didn't stop shit? Like, come on, it's a complete mystery. The, why don't they just ax the nigga? Maybe they did, but they had, oh, I pressed the button by accident. Apparently it's all a matter of national uh, secrecy. Bitch. Ooh. Well, I water. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Pussy. All right, well, that was a lot of hosh bagosh. I guess now all I can do is flip that switch now. These things are gonna get fired at this rate. Yikes. Just the kind of excitement I needed to wake me up. 
Well, I told you it's only for emergencies. Don't play with it. And I told you it wasn't me. You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job, going on rounds or building houses out of cards. Well, you'd better know. And you ought to know what I'm... ought to know that I'm just kidding. <laughs> sure, Snickle. Alright, um... Night vision goggles, a bazooka, because why not? What does bazooka say? Shit. Goggles, shit. What is it? Note? Shit. What about this note? <laughs> Dude. What's the matter? Can't even pin up a memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use a phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier, C38, eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country, live. And right in the middle of their in encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I, I, I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So nigga, how was that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics expose all the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. Like, the nigga could have probably have been Tom McDonald. He was caught red handed in the act of leaking national secrets. On bro? This case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know of any top secret information? Shit. Chicken? What? Why don't they just ask him? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Irish spring green, green, green. Fuck you. <clears throat> all right. No, I learned much of shit. Oh, he does not put something down. Let's see what that note's hitting on. Dude. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. Ooh, now that's what we're looking for. The teachers are praying for him right now. Oh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. Damn, so they're not about to explain it? Never mind. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that of all people? The motive of everything, all a complete mystery. This is ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99 who knows, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. Yeah, I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. Uh, wet. Like water. Would you quit throwing my shit? Okay, he had a new note immediately. It's time. Who is that? This is another bot in this. What the fuck? The hell? Damn, he teleported quick. No, never mind. I'm just black. Alright, so now what? They're not letting me do nothing. Oh, he's just stacking shit on his penis. Updated the phone book. Wait, what? Uh, 
Oh, I see a phone there. So do I um, connect to it? Nope, not yet. Uh, oh, I use he put that shit down and got me got me right. Okay, I'm um, bro. Damn it. Alright, what you got going on? Yeah, kinda look crazy, don't he? I'm guessing that's the kid uh, they were talking about. He's like that one Pokemon, I don't remember his name though. If he's a prisoner, he must have came come from the cells. Um uh, Yeah, that's usually how that works, uh Cecil. Shit. Wait, what? Is there a way I can Ooh. On bro. Examine. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. It is a way for these spiky haired youth to express themselves. But nothing expresses me more than a good ass TikTok, man. Um, hold up. I need to put this on the right screen. Shit, speaking of Irish Spring. All right, listen here, Damn. buddy. Getting crossed is one thing, but getting crossed out of your fucking shoes is where I draw the line. Unlace them fucking sneakers and never show your face here again. Nigga, was he not wearing socks? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, poor guy. I wouldn't show my face back in there again. Sentiments are like. I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. Fucking ape. Peace out. I'm done. The hell, that Nazi ass walk? Alright, C38, back to your cell. Hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. I'm saying. Nah, he's actually an NPC. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now, let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Okay, Uzi. Okay. Wait, nigga. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get out of here first. Well, bro, I'm getting played with right now. I might be kind of left that we were thinking about. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lion possibly want with that information though? I can't believe they let them have that shit in the, in the cell. I mean, I guess it'll be hell for the other prisoners, so. What the hell, we got a basketball? What is this shit? Damn, don't think I can take another second in this stinking pit. Man, I can't wait for his first day out tape. Looks like Guardman is gone. Irish! Why everybody got fucking basketballs? All this waiting is wiping me out. I hope this uh, won't finally do it. Everybody want to be a baller at least. Come on, sausage head! Huh? Who the hell is that? Hmm. This prison obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Because the D99 has a beard. It's one of those little black boys line said would be gonna sell. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. I can't wait till I make a first day out take. Obviously I gotta go to prison first. I gotta find a like a cool way to get locked up though. I can't do no like I don't know. Hey, was your echoing on the Discord stream? Oh that's probably because um Why is that? You pulled up TikTok earlier. I don't know if that's I, something to do with it. I know I shared the whole screen, but it shouldn't be doubling me. That's weird. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to be seeing another TikTok, so I'm going to switch back to the game. Anyway, uh, I don't think that worked. I mean, all right, ALM. So this is one of those little black boys line mentioned. Let me just say, give it a little read. Tonight, I lost a lot of things. My life, 
my memory. Oh, this is his intro. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost, too. I can't read! I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. Oh, that was me saying that, but I have no, absolutely no idea what it means! If I can't read Prison 99's works over tomorrow, the fuck do I do now? What a... What a... What a roadblock. What am I supposed to report back to the line now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me! But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Anyway, I may as well try to find Prisoner D99, so hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm here. Maybe he'll, I don't know, he'll be dragging his ankles, walking to us, and oh, today I, or some shit like, maybe he'll just say what he got to do out loud. All right, what is this cell got? Oh, this is a phone. Looks like it's an international line on an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only place I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Cool. Bunk. Oh, it's an empty cell. Just for me. An emergency button. An emergency button in a prison. That's got to be a pretty bad situation. Fuck it. Come on, you gotta have more haste than that. Anyway, why these niggas do that? I caused quite an uproar, I guess. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see if I want to change the view. Maybe the behavior will give me a clue about my next step. Okay. I thought it was someone there. He ain't doing shit. Oh, here we go. Look at his head. Hell no. Nah. No, oh, nothing. I didn't learn nothing tonight. Oh wait, here we go. No clear. Right, actual dickhead. Alright, well. Now that I see that... Oh, but how am I going to reach it, though? What did he even call up? Who, who did he say... Who did he tell it was all clear to? Oh. Hey, he... Sit up, bro! What's with you all of a sudden? What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprise? Hey, good. You seem bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. <laughs> what do you think? KY, okay, nigga. If a normal person pulled a move like that, sure, I might be startled. But this is you we're talking about. Oh. oh okay, okay. Man, I can't imagine having a. What? What? What now? How can you be so insensitive? I, I was only trying to open up communication between us. I, I thought, do your work, nigga. What a team. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, I fucking killed myself. This is my work partner. All right. Um, let me see. Well, I don't really have much of a reason to be in here right now. I didn't really mean to go here. So let me go back to the cells. Alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, it only it only alerts the upper row. What the fuck? Oh. Are you just painting? So none of you are other other Neanderthals can't do anything with this. Oh well, I can't read any of the notes. Play drum, bullshit, waste of time, cop bullshit. 
light none to do I got a whole barricade going on I wish I can pause this so I can mess with the the coal so if I sound an alarm it gets people moving eh maybe I can use their movements to get around myself that way I can get an idea of what's going on in the cell I might have just fucked myself nope never mind I think it actually like built like a uh, Neptune off the SpongeBob movie. Fuck no. An awful fate. But are they playing tic tac toe or something? Or they're just helping each other out. saw all bus all right well updated the phone book by the looks of him that must be the curry lover from the police that was very racist Cecil but never mind that where did we go what's going on in this cell anyway there's a little blackboard here too just to be safe maybe I better check the curry lovers stop saying that all right let me see this Still can't read, but I better go check out the prisoner's cell anyway. Maybe I can find some more information that might help line out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner line is investigating looks like. Okay. Um. How do I get back? Um. Using this, oh, I thought it was using a spoon. Oh, he is using a spoon. Uh. Okay, here we go. We got some motion. Oh, I can't reach that. Looks like the. God, I can't keep saying that, bro. Comes back when he hears the bell. Can't make heads or tails out of his behavior once he gets back, though. But this prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. I'll just talk this guy up to... It takes all kinds. I better try to find a path to the cell. Ugh, I need to reach that spoon, man. Do something quirky, nigga. Here we go, bitch. He just licked me up, and I still can't reach it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go down with him in the, with the spoon. <laughs> this fat double lord don't get his ass on. Come on, chill, bro. Yeah, I'm not squirming in that. You kidding me? Look at this nigga. Sometimes I wonder if like fetuses do shit like that, just be digging around in the stomach. That's that's what they call, right? The little baby niggas. Now right, let me ring this bell again. <laughs> baby niggas. All right, spoon. Ooh, and LeBron with no regard for human life. And now we got access to this uh, phone. The only place I can go to with telephones are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. I know that, you big bitch. I didn't mean to click that again. Alright. Um, well, I guess I can just go in here and see what we're looking at. 
what we got on us. Hmm. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it, he seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area, so that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guards said, even I know about this one. Yeah, he shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. The cut did not care. What in the world really happened? And why is Lion so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Clearly you can comprehend all this shit, but you can't read. Fucking bitch. Picture per picture frame. Now what does it say? Photos, eh? One of these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Faces have been blotted with black paint. Did they do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's something that's not something I need to know right now. YouTube article that has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately I can't read it. Probably about the man's murder's wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. So the work schedule for tomorrow, prisoner D99, information lines looking for, should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read, but here I am anyway. At least I can do is take a look. Oh, we'll get this mean. Wait, what? there's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as day as the day it was hung there. So I have the answer line I was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99 is nothing. Will this info mean anything to her? It's not up to me or to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Well, fuck. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read even if it, if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank as a bitch. I better get this important information in line as fast as I can. Okay, so I guess we're getting back. And he should be, she should be at the kitchen chicken. Kitchen chick to chicken kitchen. Dinner! Damn, this big... They eating good in this in this uh in this cell. Quite a feast tonight, I see. <laughs> and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. Yeah, well, well, well. It's too bad it's an all cold and hard though. I say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. Whatever name. I know it's kind of a point. If I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same as I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree. It is pointless to ask now. You worthless bitch ass nigga. My case is colder than this chicken and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. Fuck boy. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What the hell do you want? Who's the man in that painting? Hell, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Oh! <gasps> now fuck off. Let a man eat in peace. Yeah, I mean... Damn, come eat fan art of me. The fuck? What could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man who chose... Oh, the man whose case line is investigating is painting a picture of me in this cell. I have to get sea line fast, and not for her sake. For mine, to solve the mystery of me. Let me see what seasons you put in this chicken, though. Mm. 
Okay. All right, seasonal, the, the, the lorries, I see that. The garlic powder. Oh, man, get your ass on this week ass. All right, we finna go. We out of here. Man, that man is eating good. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside. And I've got questions I want to ask, Line. I've got to get to, nigga, no bitch. Tell me what to do. Guard room. Hello? This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, is you! They're making preparations now, no problem, sir. How much longer, then? About another hour? I see. Carry on, then. Oh, and one more thing. Inspector Cabanea, uh, Cabanea wishes to speak to you. Why are they calling Adolf Hitler? No bullshit. Oh, my God. Evening! Real nigga here. How you boys doing? Inspector... Oh, I, I'm fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby. <laughs> yeah! Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately, actually. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. I need... You tried to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Uh, yes, nigga, fuck. Golly, I'll call you right away. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Alright, bruh. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Sir. <laughs> Gay. What's up, Error? Why don't you be heading for the chicken kitchen right now? The call from the police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that white suited inspector suspects line that she's being considered a fugitive. That's not good. I wonder if I should go check in on a chief and inspector in white too. I guess I'll look there first. Oh wait, what are you saying? Inspector Kamenea seems to be looking for it too. Your your line, I mean. Inspector Cabanella? What would the special investigation need one with the line? Should be to me. I, I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights? Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and Prisoner D99 Detective Jout good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanella never come to, came to visit him? He's the head of special investigation. He's a very busy man. What's wrong? Jout was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me. Riding away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Line. What am I doing with my life? The, this new side of you is kind of... endearing. Anyway, the thing... Uh, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can. Little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know? <sighs> Okay, man, everybody's having mental breakdowns around here. That's some real shit, though. That's life. All right, let's see what this room's talking about. Before we go to the chicken, the kitchen, the chicken kitchen. Fuck, fuck. This nigga is not wearing shoes. Preparation seems to be going smoothly, sir, at the prison, eh, Expector? What? I read that crazy as shit. We were just a little too late, so close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X around it all night. If he shows up, we nab him. And we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case, the junkyard murder? She did it, eh? No question about it? She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it. Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No, no way. Hitler's the type to have his like to be in office with no shoes though. So he's probably. Oh wait, let me see what they're saying. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than I do. Any more than you do. And yet. 
After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny. Some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it. Let's get this over. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Why a murder case now on such an important night? Moin! Tisk tisk, I think you have the wrong chief. You have it wrong. Murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Before I go find line at the chicken kitchen, it sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? Man, fuck, I can't even reach it. Question this shit going down? These unaware bastards. The junkyard where I died from an attic security camera. And it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the time showed what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Don't tell me I've been saving my murder this whole time. Damn, look at me walking around standing and shit. And I was just risen her up. Right there, he said, please. What the? The hell? Took you a second try, and then you drop it like that? You just wanted to get caught then. I saw myself shot right before my own eyes, by line. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me though. Line looks so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? Yeah, she was shaky as fuck and I was just letting her kill me. The truth is the truth no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now. Oh, by the way, Inspector, there's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Hey, he's right. That That is strange. That man in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he shouldn't have been... So he should have been out of the picture. There I am, down on the lower level. I have the right I have the answer to your mystery right here. A few minutes after the murder took place. Hmm. It was a black Cat. The hell? The only thing that was howling. Is that a? Is that a black? You got it. A furry feline messed up our crime scene, and then a little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Look at my destiny of getting knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. Alter. This is point X. Come in, Chief. The Chief here. Did you show up? Uh, no, sir, not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important! But this is important, sir! Somebody else showed up! Our rookie detective line! What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Killer. Get my baby away from point X! Do it now, man, and then hold on to her. Yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. 
what's the meaning of this? Why would Lon show up at point X? It took the special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location? Shit, fuck if I know, but I'd say it wasn't a coinker doink. Perhaps. I was about to make a really obnoxious sound. What? What happened? Detective, come in! <laughs> Flashbang sound. Now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to point X. Allow me. I better scan it right now before you start trolling. Here we go, bruh. Hold on, I gotta go up. Come on. So Lana was shown up at point X, but I thought she was on her way to Chicken Kitchen. What's going on? One thing is clear, something big just happened. What are you doing? Get your buns over here. What did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for the poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me, but this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police, did, did something happen there you need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left here. I got to go. Wait, wait. <laughs> Fuck you slow. What's going on? Something that's something that's what something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. You did not say shit in those two sentences. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You wanna point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector. You being there isn't gonna change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, and I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do, do what you must then. Hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm going to the chicken kitchen. The, yeah. Prisoner D99 schedule for tomorrow was blank. Seems like forever ago that I found that out, and now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. That black ass board. Line, my only lead, and my partner shot me. Killed me, too. What did it all mean? I. I I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. The point next, the police is surrounded. The police where something big just happened. What would Lion be involved in this time when I find her there? And I probably gotta go save her life again too. But I suppose that's something we'll do in the next episode. Was Bo doing his feet? Yeah, he was like grabbing shit with his toes. <laughs>